Okay guys, Blackout Mini H got a video, build video, quick run over specs, uh, Cryo CN06 GPS, which is much better than the mini GPS I got earlier, I'll show you all that. Mobius Action Cam, Sony Board Cam, PLZO7. Uh, you'll notice that on my latest flight, the lens fell out, so if you're going to use one, just make sure you tie them up. Not a big deal, but not great for your FPV. I've sh I've put it. Uh, uh, put it. I've put a um, toroid in on the video feed on the power line to the 12 volt cam to smooth out battery sag, and I've shielded it with aluminium foil. Uh, I've got a nice um, 32 full running CPPM with uh, the three and four pins to GPS and the uh, TX and the RX. You are going to a uh, Minimo SD pull up white spy quads edition modified version. So I've got battery voltage RSSI um, and I've got a beeper uh, which I kept well away from the magnometer on the board. And that was the reason also for the foil. Um, I have also got a Boss Cam 350 transmitter which seems to be working great. Homemade antenna, homemade link. Um, Running a uh, 12 amp um, Simon is uh, Emacs ESCs, uh, Emacs 1806 motors, uh, gem fan 5030 props, counter and counterclockwise spinner, so they're self tightening. And on the receiver side, it's a Fry Sky D4R2, some lolly. Uh, drinking straws for antenna mounts, quite handy to keep it away from the GPS. Uh, and that is it. All up weight is 449 grams without a battery. Uh, and uh, I'll show you how I built it. Welcome back to the kitchen table stroke lab. So I put it all together. Then I watched some American guys video, Canadian guys video. A couple of good points. Loop that. So you're not relying on the pads, I'm relying on my own. I'm going to plastic dip the connections so they can't breach. Right. So first thing, plug the board in. I've downloaded Clean Flight. I've got Base Flight on my other mini coil. I'm going to try Clean Flight. I just want to know what the motor orientation is. So four, two, three, one. And just to obviously check all the accelerometers are working. They appear to be, and just also check that sensors are working. So we got gyroscope, accelerometer, magnometer, barometer, no GPS connected yet. Okay, so soldering the board, the fun bit, working out where to put everything. This is going to go underneath, It'll be strapped down, and then the nose is going to go on top of there. And lucky for me, in my box of bits, I found these rubber washers. It came with an APM board, so I'm going to use them to stand it off. Let's screw it down. Might jack it up a little bit, but we'll see. Oh, kind of. yeah, so these little rubber washers on here, and then strap it down, and then strap that down underneath. So there we go, spaced up, and then with the rubber washers underneath the nose board, enough free to get the thing on, and enough clearance underneath when I strap that down. So there we go, boards on, receivers temporarily strapped down, and uh, I'm going to consult. It says that the receiver output sees to PPM on one and RSSI on two if pins three and four on the receiver. I jumped, but I'm going to double check that because there's some debate about it. And I'm assuming channel one will come out of the receiver. Go into channel one that I've pre in there, and at ground and power there and there, and I've assumed that one to four motors will just be signal only to the ESCs, and that's a little drawing I did from the top of the board, and it's like that. So that's my little mock-up. I know which pins are which, and I'm just going to stretch the seal and connect them up.
I've soldered directly onto the board, gone inwards across the board so it don't catch any wires. And that's channel one positive and ground on the receiver, the R42. Cut the other end off and then just solder on. It helps to hold them down while you're doing it. Don't go mad, otherwise you might desolder the headers, but make sure there's a nice oop, little blob of wet solder. A right, quick test out, connected up so far. The receiver's flashing away because it's not bound, but the board's got power. Basically, power coming in from the CSC, the rest of the signal only. According to my drawing, and then uh, I've got to figure out the reason I pulled these back. I don't know which way the motor's going to spin, so I've got to do that by trying out. So I loosely connected up the ESCs, signal only on the uh, motor rail. I've been breathing lead solder in them a little bit. Woo! Got a uh, power to one, ground to one, the rest of signal only. Uh, I've stripped off these for now, just leave them loose, no, they're not bridging anything. I've stripped these open because I'm going to figure out which one goes where when I know the motor spins. Alright, so there we are, all done. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I just put some props on it. No, I'm only joking. Uh, temporary wire connectors. I'm going to plug it in the computer see which way they spin up. Alright, connected it up via USB. No battery yet. And there it is. Moving around, moving around, moving around. So, no receiver not working without the battery. So, let's try the battery. Now the battery's in, and we can see oh, quite a lot of shit going on here. I don't know what's going on there. It's yo yo. -y. Okay, so that's a bit better. We got it mixed up, but we got movement. And the reason was uh, enable uh, config clean flight RX PPM RX PPM. Save and close, or the same reboot. And at least we got some working transmission. And the other thing was this beeped when it connected, so that's something. And by changing the channel map, it's the easy way to do. I put it on JL Spectrum, and now I've got throttle this throttle. Your is your. Pitch is pitch, roll is roll. Okay, so I screwed up one ESC by trying to solder direct to the pads in the middle, which are now become bridged to suck the solder off a couple of times and then bridge and can't do it. So I wouldn't advise that. What I've done, these are Emacs, on is 12 amps. Um, it's kept the wires on, tied, soldered to the motors, and then tucked them back up. Put some new heat shrink round, heat gun, and there we go. Two is on and tied up and ready. Tidy wires, not hitting the motor. A little bit of slack, not much. Be warm, this is a pain in the arse. So there we go. It's tied on with some thin ones, don't want to put too much pressure on it. Nice wet solder joins onto the board. And wrap that wire around so it's out of the way and ready to go back up here. Ready to repeat three more times. Lo and behold, no spinning the right way on that side, so I just got to figure out the other two. This one doesn't seem to be doing much at all. No, it does that one. So let's have a look. Why? So I've been over the check test motor, take the props off before doing this, and then on each one. Nothing's going on here. If the nothing. Two, or whatever it is. Okay. I said it's 2000, which is about 8000. No battery. Gonna plug the battery in, two beeps, and turn the slider down. So, oh, I don't know, I haven't got enough hands here. I'll do it by sound. Down. Calibrate. Have a nice day.